This is code.org, and we're having an alien celebration. Make the, ooh, make the alien dance when the spaceship reaches the top of the screen. Do this. Run the program to see how it works. Add a conditional, don't let that scare you. What they mean is if statement. They just use scary words. Add a conditional that detects when the spaceship is in the sky. Set the sprites animation to alien dance. Oh, wait, we have multiple animations. <gasps> That's awesome. Okay. So we're going to set the animation to alien dance when the spaceship is in the sky. So the sky is kind of up to us. Is that above here? I'm going to use a Y value. Notice these numbers here when I... So it looks like what if the Y value was at 30? The spaceship's pretty well into the sky. We could do it at zero when it's almost off the screen. Uh, it's up to us. I'm going to say maybe 15. All right. So we need to use a conditional. When the spaceship reaches the top of the screen, oh, so that would be zero. The top right here, notice why? Zero it will go to. When the spaceship reaches the top of the screen, set the alien's animation. Oops. I'm going to zoom out. To dance. All right. So what we need to check, what we need to do is use a conditional. That's under control. We're going to ask if. If something. So this runs 30 times a minute. We're using a counter pattern that makes the spaceship's Y value equal to the old spaceship's Y value minus 3. So the spaceship would start with a Y value of 200. 200 minus 3 is 197. So its value is now 197. We draw the sprite. We loop back around. Up oh, spaceship.y has a new Y value. What is it? Oh, the old Y value. We just said that was 197 minus 3 is 194. Its new value is 194. It moves up a little bit. We redraw it. And as Y goes down, it looks to go up. Now we want to check if it is off the screen or if it reaches the top of the screen. So if a Boolean, and what do we need to know? Well, if the top of the screen is zero, right? I would want to know if the spaceship's X, not X, Y, because Y is up and down, if the spaceship Y value is less than zero. Because if it's less than zero, it must be at the top of the screen. And what do we want to do? Well, when it's at the top of the screen, once it does that, we can set our alien to dance. The Now, what happens for this is 30 times a second, the draw loop runs, and 30 times a second, it is going to check to see if at that moment, the spaceship's Y value, which is changing because of this, is less than zero. Most of the time, up until it gets to here, this is false. So we'll say, the we're asking the computer, if spaceship.y is less than zero, well, what if it's at 197? This is false. The computer does not run this code in the blue mouth thing. It's false. It skips over it, but it just keeps running like normal. We then check again. Okay, so if it was at 197, then now it's at 194. Is 194 less than zero? The computer says false. No, that's not true. Skips over this alien set animation because it's in the blue mouth and keeps going. Let's say it is true. Let's say our spaceship.y is negative four. So if negative four is less than zero, true. The computer says true. That is true. Okay, then we can run this code inside, which sets the alien dance animation. And then we also keep going and loop back around. It only runs the code inside if it's true. Otherwise, it doesn't run it. Everything else, though, would work the same. Let's try. Not dancing, not dancing. Party! His friends are off. I don't know why he's happy. I'm going to miss you, he means. We'll miss you. Ah! <laughs> awesome. Onward!